Joining me now is Chris Murphy. He's co-head of derivative strategy at Susquehanna. Chris, it's great to have you. Have things changed in the options land? No, I mean, you nailed it. So um, huge spikes in the stock prices for those stocks you named. We're also seeing a huge spike in implied volatility levels for those stocks and a huge spike in call volume. You know, that kind of is the uh, the classic meme slash kind of message board stock that we've been talking about for a while. Um, Tesla's obviously up a ton, like you said. Uh, implied volatility's doubled in the past two weeks. Uh, NVIDIA implied volatility was up over 50% yesterday. Similar moves in Avis and Bed Bath & Beyond. We typically see volatility come in when a stock moves higher, uh, but not in these cases. Uh, the questions that we've been asked the most this week, how much of this is driven by the call volume? Um, you know, we're thinking that the call volume really overstates the impact, and you really want to look at the change in open interest, which is a very different thing to follow. Um, certainly has a psychological impact, uh, momentum chasing trade, um, you know, Seeing a huge spike in call volume as a signaling device uh, can certainly get uh, it being talked about on Twitter, in the media. Um, you know, the algos might be looking at it, things like that. So it's kind of a little bit of both right now. So boil it down to me, Chris. Are stocks chasing options or are options chasing stocks? Great question. I think a lot of the times the options volume is chasing the big moves in the stock. So let's just look at um, – Avis and Bed Bath & Beyond this week. Uh, positive catalyst, positive news leads to um, a lot of short covering, uh, less liquidity, and a big move in the stock, uh, you know, which is followed by a big amount of call volume. Sticking with uh, Avis on Tuesday, uh, big spike in the stock, uh, 30,000 calls trade, a lot of questions about, you know, that's way more calls than we typically see in Avis rental car. Uh, but the next day, the change in open interest is only 6,000. So what that's telling you is most of those calls were opened and closed in the same day. That's going to mute the impact. And that's really going to be small compared to 30,000 uh, shares that traded.